Good morning guys, I hope you're all okay. I thought I'd just start doing the uh, vlogs a bit more often now because you guys seem to enjoy it. So here we go. So today I'm going to be doing some um, errand running, it's currently quarter past nine. I've done my hours cardio this morning, uh, just got out of the shower as you can tell by the messy hair. Developed a couple of strange spots on my shoulder, other than that everything's pretty normal. Four weeks out on Saturday guys, four weeks out, oh my god. Let me just show you a current physique update. Alright guys, so the lighting is absolutely appalling in here, um, but as you can tell I'm just starting to shape up nicely now, it's all starting to come in. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. Sam. Right guys, time to have a first meal. You already know what it is, protein, oats, 50 gram of each, nice and simple, made it with water, let's do it. Cause, as you can see, I've got to be somewhere at 10 o'clock, see a man about a dog, so let's get this done. Running late, as always. Tell you what, this beats peanut butter flavour by far. Cocoa cereal flavour from my protein, the Impact Way Isolate. Oh my god, it's, it's a taste sensation. Unreal. Running so late. Oh my god, I am running so late, it's unreal. Let me put you on here. Let's go guys, while I'm driving now and I've got 10 minutes to speak, I'm trying to update on the, the uh, diet brain really, how crazy it is and how, how shitty it makes you feel like one day I feel amazing and I feel like I'm going to be ready and I'm going to be like on top of the world with it and then the next day I feel like I'm really really watery, I'm really really fat, holding fat and it's not good, it's, it really does mess with your head massively, so anyone who's thinking about competing, just bear that in mind. You've got to be really mentally strong with with the contest prep dieting. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind, guys. Four weeks out on Saturday, like I said. Very, very um, excited now, very excited and a little bit apprehensive now, like I say, will I be ready or not? Regardless if, it, if I'm ready or not, I'm still going to do it. Um, I've come this far, so it's not really about the first competition anyway. For me, it's not really about winning or losing. It's about just doing it and getting getting the first one out of the way and just experiencing it. Really, um, you can only bet yourself. So if I do do really really badly in this one, then the next one I just make sure I place higher than that. And it's as simple as that, really. You can't let yourself get down about it and beat yourself up about it because. You don't know what's going to happen until on the, until like the day. Until on the day, you, you could come up against people that look absolutely shit and win it, and then win it by miles. Or on the day, you could come up against guys that look absolutely amazing, so much better than what you do, and come dead last. But it's all a learning curve. Like you say, I'm not doing it to win. I'm not doing it to place or anything like that. I'm just doing it because I wanted to do it. So yeah, let me go and run some errands, guys, and relax. Finally, finally get a minute to myself, everything's done, dishwasher loaded, everything, just like tiny little bits, all my chores done. So finally relax for a bit now, I'm training chess in a bit with Liam, so until then it's just going to be a case of enjoying my last day off and then um, getting my food in, chilling out. So I'm going to play a bit of FIFA now, the new FIFA has just come out so I'm going to get on that and uh, chill out for a bit guys. I will catch you in the next clip. So finally guys, it is gym time, can't wait. I've been waiting what feels like forever for this. Um, Liam's finally finished work, so it is time to get the chess session underway. So yeah guys, I will see you at the gym. And uh, my chest isn't looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. Shoulders are starting to pop now. Four weeks out, plenty of time to uh, 
dial this in now. Looking good, feeling good. One minute I feel good, one minute I feel absolutely terrible. That's just how it goes when I'm on a diet. Let's do it. Well, I'm uh, starting to hammer these voiceovers out at the minute, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, let's talk over this chest session. As you can see, we started on flat bench, time under tension, working the negative, and really, really getting a nice squeeze on the muscle up and um, tearing all the muscle fibers down as much as possible. Didn't go too heavy. As you can see, we went up to 100 kilo. I can easily knock that out for 10, 15 reps now, which isn't too bad, but my body weight at the minute, so quite pleased with that. I don't know what my max is at the minute, probably around 120, 130, something like that. But like I'd say with bodybuilding, I don't really go for the max. I've not, I can't remember the last time I went for a max rep. But anyway, as you can see here, we're doing a really, really good drop set. I like doing this, it's really effective. It uh, seems to work well for me, this does, and Liam, me enjoys doing it as well. Basically, you start off with a weight that you can do a good 10 to 15 reps on comfortably, and then you do, you do your reps, do 10 reps, um, or eight reps, I think it was, was it eight reps? And between eight and 10 reps. And then you strip the weight down again by a third, and then hammer another eight to 10 reps out again, and then strip the weight off again, and once again, hammer the weights out, uh, hammer the reps out again. It just basically just keeps the blood flowing, it keeps the blood pumping, it's, it works the muscles a lot harder than, say, doing three sets of 10 reps. It just, it just works the muscles a lot better. And then after that, we went over to incline dumbbell presses. Again, about three or four sets. We didn't do any drop sets on there. We just worked up the weight and then worked back down the weight. So we did two sets working up and then two sets working back down. And then after that, we went on to this uh, variation of a dumbbell press. I don't really know what you'd call it, but you just get a really good squeeze on the uh, inner chest and inner pectoral. So I enjoy doing that. It's not, I've not been doing that for that long, probably the last six months, six or seven months. Um, but I find it really, really effective. It, and then, as you can see, going from the uh, press to the, straight over to the fly, you're just attacking all points of the chest and uh, you're not leaving any stone unturned, basically. Really, really effective. Give it a go yourself, guys. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I enjoy training chest and I enjoy, I enjoy this um, routine that we're doing at the minute. It's all about mixing, mixing it up and not just going through the motions and... and and training and training and training every day and in and out and not really enjoying it. You've got to enjoy your training. Um, we went on to the machine press after this and again, not going stupidly heavy, just nice and light weights and getting the reps in. And after that, we went over to a variation of like a, a, a peck deck. But what I do here, most people sit down. What I do here, I like to stand up and really, really get a good squeeze. If you stand up, it, it suits me just with where my height is because I can, my hands are right in the center of where it needs to be on the chest. And I do find that I get a really, really good squeeze doing that. So I enjoy doing that. And quite a few people I've noticed have started doing that now as well. And everybody said how good it is. So I must be doing something. After that, we went over to the uh, Lewis Coxhead Press. Everybody in the gym knows it as this because I think he came up with it or he, he was the one that started doing it and quite a lot of people copied it. Uh, me being one of them, I really, really find it effective. So yeah, cheers for that, Lewis. After that, went over to Cable Flies and it's just the usual, the usual uh, going through the motion. Rather than swinging on it and swinging on it though, just keeping it nice and controlled. Again, time under tension and get and just focusing on getting that squeeze. That's what it's all about. Really, really getting the squeeze and uh, contracting the muscle. Contraction and isolation is what's going to make the muscle grow as well as going heavy and getting the compound movements in. So it all comes together and it all falls together nicely, guys. Go on, Jim, change this shit. As you can see, Liam. Uh, not liking the um, gym's choice of music here. <laughs> Speak your mind, Liam. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's another pec deck. It's a recent one that they've just had installed in the past couple of months when the gym was done up a bit and the new owners came in. Really effective, quite like this pec deck. I can remember when I first started at this gym, they used to have one a few years back and I really enjoyed it. I found it, it grew my chest quite a lot. So yeah, it's nice to have that back in. 
uh, and then we finished off on abs guys as you will know at the end of my sessions now I'm doing about 10-15 minute circuits on, on abs like this very similar to this I have added a couple more exercises in at the minute so it is getting a, getting a little bit more vigorous and a bit more intense but yeah that's it basically guys so I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video cheers Right guys, just got home. I hope you enjoyed the um, commentary and the voiceover of uh, the little chest session that we've just had. Absolutely destroyed it. Once again, focusing on a lot more reps and um, time under tension, drop sets, pyramid sets, things like that. Just really getting the blood flowing now and getting the uh, getting the muscle fibres torn down as much as possible. Got a really, really good pump on. We trained abs after as well as you've seen. So yeah, four weeks out on Saturday. Um, today is Thursday, so I'm back to work tomorrow on nights, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday nights, the worst shift of the lot, but the, the uh, finish line is in sight now guys, um, really down to the nitty gritty now, feeling okay, I wake up one day and I feel like absolute crap, and then I go and train, I get all pumped up, and I feel good, so it's, it's such a head fuck at the minute, um, but yeah, just got to keep with it, like I say, four weeks on Saturday, it's not much time at all now to dial it in, it's a bit stressful, but yeah, we'll get there, we'll do it, I'll do the best that I possibly can, that's all I can ask. So yeah, thanks for watching guys anyway, um, keep subscribing, keep sharing the video, keep liking the video, it is much appreciated, um, the Road to the Show series is nearly coming to an end now, got some big plans next year though, huge plans next year, life changing stuff next year, so stick with it. Again, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I will catch you in the next episode.